Welcome to the Canadian Impact Assessment Registry, Canada's database for impact assessments. The registry is where the Impact Assessment Agency of Canada stores records for all federal impact assessments. Throughout every impact assessment, the agency ensures transparency by putting information about the assessment online for public viewing. The registry is also a point of entry for you to participate in regional and strategic impact assessments and those on federal lands and outside of Canada. We'll come back to that in a minute, but first, let's go over how to search the registry. Finding information is easy and straightforward. Every page on the registry has a home button, so you can return to the home page at any time, and a menu button with a drop-down list of links to different areas of the website. If you're new to the registry and want to get a feel for what's available, the homepage offers four jumping-off points. Browse Current Assessments brings you to a list of all current assessments led by the agency or a review panel. Browse Federal Lands Assessments brings you to a list of current federal lands assessments led by other federal authorities. View Map links you to the registry's interactive assessment map where you can explore, visualize and analyze data related to assessments in Canada and on foreign lands. The map opens with a collapsible window, showing links to a quick reference guide and frequently asked questions for new users. Clicking an assessment marker opens a small window with general information about the assessment and a link to the assessment page. Get Involved gives you quick access to current public comment opportunities in your region. If you're looking for something specific, you can use the search box to search for records by keyword, assessment reference number or location, and go directly to relevant information and documents. For example, let's say you want to investigate the assessment of the proposed Crawford Nickel project. Search Crawford. At the top of the results view, you can sort your results by best match, most recent, or assessment reference number. You can further filter your results on the left by choosing exact dates and selecting different options. The numbers next to the filter criteria on the left tell you how many results are available for each category. A good place to start is to refine by result type, in this case by selecting Assessments. Your results are narrowed down to what you're looking for, the Crawford Nickel Project. Clicking on the project title opens the project page. Each assessment on the registry has its own page where you can access all related records in one place. Each page begins with a general description with key facts about the assessment to the right, a map of the location and surrounding area with links to nearby assessments on the right, and a latest update section indicating the assessment's current status in the assessment process. Next is the Participate section. This is where you can submit a comment directly onto the registry, either as an individual or on behalf of an organization, and view comments posted by other participants. In the Participate section, you will also find links to Register for Self-Paced e-Learning Courses, Live Webinar Sessions, and Tailored Training on Impact Assessments and the Impact Assessment Act, a list of upcoming information sessions, opportunities for participant funding, and a link to all registry records for the assessment, including public participation notices. To post information or comment, click the Submit a Comment button and follow the instructions to access the comment page via Secure Sign-In. Click the Go to Login button to open the Terms of Use page. Once you've read the Terms of Use, click the box at the bottom of the page to agree to the terms and click Continue. You can then choose a secure sign-in method either through one of our secure partner sites or by using your GC key. Logging in through a partner site is simple. Use the same username and password you use online for your financial institution. Next, click the View Comments button to view all the comments submitted for an assessment, including feedback from the public and Indigenous groups and individuals, information received from the project proponent, advice from experts, and the rationale for decisions. To filter results, search by keyword or sort results. Further down the assessment page is a list of key documents for quick access, such as those prepared by project proponents or the federal authority. Once you find what you're looking for, you can either bookmark the page for future reference or download the document. The Canadian Impact Assessment Registry makes it easy to find the information you need and provides you with the opportunity to have your say in major projects.
More information on how to use the registry is always available through the menu button links provided on the registry page. These include search tips, frequently asked questions, a quick reference guide to the interactive assessment map, and the registry submission policy. Visit the registry on the Impact Assessment Agency of Canada website at canada.ca/iaac. Have your say 